Hello and welcome back to my channel, it's Shannon. We are back today with another thrift haul. I thought maybe it would be fun to try something different today and I'm gonna challenge myself to style a full outfit with every piece I bought using only things that I already own from my wardrobe. But let's see if everything I bought actually like fits into my closet and I can make outfits with everything. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel if you have not already and let's go ahead and get right into it. have the bag here with everything I bought at Goodwill. Here is my receipt. Looks like I paid a total of $41 for everything in this pile. I found this gorgeous sweater. I don't know if the camera will even pick this up, but it does have like a little sparkly thread running through it that gives it kind of like a shimmer. This looked really luxurious when I tried it on and just kind of like comfy yet cute. I've just been into pink lately. I don't know what is with me. Never thought I'd be a pink girl, but something happened to me when I got older. The brand on it says flawless and it's a size small. I paid $6.11 for this one. I am going to go try this on and we will see. Here is the pink sparkly sweater. I think this outfit looks really cute. I feel like this is really me. I really like the way the sweater looks. I paired it with this velvet top I was already wearing. I like kind of like the two different tones of pink mixed together. I love doing that with my outfits. I went ahead and put on these velvet pants. I've had these for years and I love these. I thought that like the purple like pink tones of the flowers went with the top really well and I like the play on wearing like two different velvets together. Had some pink socks on. I thought those looked cute and I just threw on my white Keds. It just kind of like made it a little more like casual. I put on my new wool bird. Ray. I thought it looked really cute, made it look kind of like artsy, and then just did my hair in two braids and threw on my black backpack. I've been carrying this backpack as my purse recently. I really like how this look came together. I feel like I could wear this sweater with so many different things too. I was thinking even with like a pair of jeans and just like a simple top would be cute. Really, really happy with this sweater. Cute yet casual. That's usually what I'm trying to go for. I picked up with these pink velvet pants. These caught my eye immediately. I love velvet and I love this kind of powdery pink color right now. These were $4.66. They are a size medium. When I tried these on, I wasn't as in love with the fit as I wanted to be, but I also thought that it might have just been like a dressing room thing, like making them look not as good. You know how you like don't look as good in a dressing room as at home sometimes? Oh my gosh, these kind of match my shirt I'm wearing. I love a good just kind of like comfy pant that's like a little more dressy so you can kind of like look like you tried but like you didn't really try. Does that make sense? I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna style these. I'm gonna get a little creative so I'm gonna go ahead and try these on and let's see what we think. Here is my outfit that I styled with the pink velvet pants. I went for a basic tee. It's like a cream color. I put on this little like cloud sweater with my comfy winter boots and some pink earmuffs. I got these for my fairy costume at my brother's wedding and I've ended up wearing them a lot. I really like them. I think this would be kind of like a casual like day outfit if I'm just like hanging around the house or maybe like need to run out and do some errands. I would wear something like this. Like the pants, I feel like the fit could be a little better. Like they're a little loose in the hip area and they're a little too short for me but Overall, they're fine, and I think I'll wear them just for like casual, like not too serious things. It's just something kind of like fun and comfortable to wear around. Overall, pretty pleased with pink pants, and I think they're fun. Next piece here is a little jumper dress. Still new with tags on it. I couldn't really believe it. It is from Dry Goods, and the original price was $50. And it looks like it was marked down to $37, then to $25, then to $12 and then it looks like it got shipped off to me at Goodwill. But I thought this was a cute little jumper dress. I love these kind of like jumper style dresses. It definitely needs some lint removal 
done on it. It's got a little side zipper. It's got pockets. It's got like a little kind of like ruffle button detail and then the straps that go down in the back. I feel like I'm always looking for a cute jumper. So when I saw this, I knew I needed to try it on and the fit actually really surprised me in the dressing room. I did pay $8.66 size medium. I'm looking forward to styling this and seeing what I can come up with for a total look with this. Here we have the jumper styled. I have to say this took me quite a while to put together. It was definitely a tricky piece to style. I didn't get all the lint off, I'm sorry. A lot of the challenge was with like the fact that it was such a dark color that black leggings really didn't look good and like black tights didn't look good. So I finally dug out this old pair of tights. I've had these ever since college. I bought these in Italy when I was there. It was really hard for me to find a shoe that looked good, but I ended up pairing it with my Hunter rain boots. So we're just gonna pretend that it's raining. And then I put just like a pink layering top underneath. I added this little hat that I got at Marshalls a while ago. And I think the look actually looks really cute. We're like going out on a rainy day with like a little umbrella. Do I see myself wearing this as much as I hoped? Probably not just because it was challenging to style and to make it look good. But I know if I work at it a little bit, I think I can make it work. I just need to find like something to go under it on the bottom. Overall, I'm happy with the look I was able to put together in the end. I think it looks really cute and fun. And I like the fit of the jumper. I feel like it fits really nice. Next up, we have a pair of trouser pants. It looked really nice. Maybe something I could wear to style in a more like fun way. A pair of plaid slacks from Banana Republic in a size four. I was really impressed with the fit on these when I tried them on. I thought they looked really nice. The only thing I will say is I'm gonna have to fix these because for whatever reason the lining is like loose at the bottom and it looks like somebody like pinned it in with safety pins. Maybe they just like didn't like that it wasn't attached. So I'm gonna probably just like unpin that and see if it like actually needs to be like that or not. I have no idea what I'm gonna style with these. I feel like I'm not used to wearing stuff like this. I don't know, just like going out every day, like trying to look a little nicer and put together, like why not? These were $9.11. I'm saying $9 for a pair of pants at Goodwill. They know Banana Republic's good shit. They're catching on. Here we have the outfit I styled for the plaid Banana Republic style. I like how this came out. I feel really put together yet still myself, but like a little classier. I'm gonna have to fix the lining. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's like safety pinned on and like hanging out the bottom of the pants. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but I'm sure it's nothing I can't fix. I went ahead and paired it with this velvet tank top. This is one of my favorite pieces of clothing. It's from an artist. I'll link her shop below, but I don't think you can get these anymore. But I love it. It has like these little airy doors all over it that she drew. I paired it with this sweater that I thrifted a couple years ago. I really love this. I like how it has this little like lounge down here. It's really pretty. My pink beret hat and then paired it with this trendy white bag that I never used. So I wanted to actually put it with this outfit. I'm really happy with this. I see a lot of versatility for these in my wardrobe. I feel like even with just like a plain sweater could be really nice and then you can accessorize to jazz it up. I just put on my white Keds sneakers because I thought it made it a little more casual and fun. I like how the outfit turned out. I'm happy with the pants. I just need to fix this dang lining in here but I think that I'll get a lot of use out of these. You know I love a good velvet dress. I found this little like red velvet dress with like the little tie straps. I thought this was really cute and this just screamed holiday time to me. I thought this would be so cute to wear to like maybe like a holiday party or even on Christmas. You could kind of like either layer a shirt underneath it or with a cardigan would be cute. It looked really flattering when I tried it on in the store. It's got a zipper in the back and it's just got like a nice A-line skirt. Kind of like a classic style I thought was really pretty. I don't see a tag on it. Okay, I found a tiny brand tag. It says Romley size four. This would be so cute for like Christmas season coming up and I did pay
pay $6.88 for this one. I am going to go try this on and we'll see what we think. All right, we are ready for Christmas. This one actually took me a little while to put together. It was kind of challenging. I do like what I came up with in the end for the red velvet Christmas dress. I have to say the fabric looks really nice and luxurious. I layered this kind of like textured square neckline black shirt underneath it to have some black tights and then I put on my new space cowgirl boots that I got for my birthday. I thought this would be a good opportunity to wear them. I thought it just kind of like spiced up the outfit a little bit, made it a little more trendy and fun. I added my Christmas velvet bow scrunchies to do some fun pigtails. Just a simple gold necklace and then I have this simple little black bag that I thrifted a few years ago. I thought that like the gold detail matched the necklace, just like a simple bag to tie the outfit together. I could definitely see myself wearing this to a party or just like out to go somewhere fun, maybe like out for drinks around the holiday time. I'm happy with it. I think this dress is really cute. I probably didn't need this, but I feel like I just saw the brand and I was like, I have to buy it. I found a free people dress. I thought this was kind of cute. I don't know. It was giving me kind of like throwback to like a better time. I don't know. When I put it on, it kind of made me just feel like youthful and fun and cute. And I thought this would just be kind of like a nice, maybe like casual day dress or just like something to wear if you want to look like a little cute, but still be comfy, which is like my favorite vibe. This actually feels like a really nice material. I want to date this probably like early 2010s from Free People, but it really doesn't look like it's been worn much. If anything, if I do get tired of it, I definitely resell this on Poshmark or something like that. I did pay $6.88 for this dress. Go ahead and try this on and let's see what we think about how I style it. Okay, here is the Stripe Free People dress. I had so much fun styling this outfit. At first I felt like really confused, like what am I gonna do? I just started off with a black legging because I felt like it was long enough that it would be considered a dress. Looking through my sweaters and I saw this sweater that I made a long time ago that I don't wear enough. It has like these mushrooms on the back. I love this piece. I made this when I had my upcycling business and I kept it for myself because I liked it so much. Kind of like a sweater like dress style and I thought that the length of it looked so cute with this. I like the way that the stripe just kind of like peeks out the back. It feels like really earthy and comfy. Since it was like a wool dress just screams winter so I wanted to put on some like winter accessories. I put on the new hat I bought. I showed this in my last haul video if you missed that and I thought it looked really cute and fun. I put on my sorrel winter boots. I've had these for years and I love them. I feel like they always come out with the cutest boots every year and I thought these looked really cute with the outfit. Really cute and fun and kind of whimsical and youthful and does just like remind me of myself maybe in like the earlier 2010s and how I used to dress. I've been searching high and low for a new plaid flannel to wear to work. I found one in the men's section at Goodwill. I feel like I haven't been able to find anything I like. But I saw this one hanging in there and it gave me just like kind of like cute menswear like outdoorsy vibes. It's actually like a really nice quality fabric and like the tailoring on the collar is so nice. It looks pretty old. It says Gentry Sportswear designed expressly for JCPenney Company. It's a size large. Definitely don't sleep on the men's section when you are thrift shopping. You can find some really nice pieces in there that you can style in your own way. I've definitely bought a lot of sweaters and things from the men's section before, so definitely always look through there. I always look through all the men's clothes anytime I'm in the thrift store. So really why I wanted this was to wear to work. I work at a brewery and winery. We are allowed to wear like flannels over our shirts with just like jeans, so I thought this would be really nice to wear there on colder days just to like have an extra layer. I also thought this would be cute to style for every day as well. I did pay at $5.11 for this. The men's clothes are cheaper. You see that? Here I've styled the flannel with like an outfit that I would normally want to wear in my real life, not at work. I really like it. I feel like really warm and cozy. I almost feel like I'm in like an L.L. Bean ad or something. I don't know. 
well. Would LL Bean mix stripes with plaid though? I don't know. I put a stripe green underneath because I love mixing prints and I liked the juxtaposition of this green stripe with the plaid. I think looks really cute. You might not agree, but I like to break the rules a little bit when it comes to fashion. Really, I don't feel like there are rules as long as things go and flow, you're good, right? I put on my high-waisted mom jeans. I can link these jeans below. These are the best high-waisted mom jeans. They're a little pricier, but I absolutely love these. I have three pairs. I paired it with this cute little bag that my friend got me for my birthday. How cute is this? It's made from a recycled sweater with a little mushroom on it. This honestly reminds me so much of like the things I used to make when I had my upcycle business, which is probably why she bought it for me. Isn't that so cute? And I thought that kind of went with like a nature-y kind of like foresty vibe that this outfit was giving. And then I just put on my mini Tonka moccasins with some like hiking socks because I thought it just kind of went with like the outdoorsy kind of casual vibe. And then just hair down, just kind of a relaxed, easy look. I think this flannel is really nice. I feel like there's so many different ways you can wear a nice flannel shirt. So I'm happy to have this as an addition to my wardrobe. That is going to do it for this week's thrift haul and try on. I hope you liked this kind of like different style haul where I actually tried on and talked about like the styling of each piece. This was really fun to film. So let me know what your thoughts were. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Do you think I did a good job or do you think I sucked? You can tell me the truth. It is very possible to find pieces at the thrift store that fit into your wardrobe that look expensive and that you love. I'm really happy with the way I was able to style every piece and fit them all into my wardrobe. I think overall it was a big success. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week with another video and until then please remember that you are special, beautiful, and magical and I love you so much. Bye!